Hello, <clears throat> Mr. Nygren here. Welcome back to Warcraft Total War version 2.3. We're back in the Nag and Blood Elf hot seat campaign that I restarted. I replayed everything, as I said in the previous episode. We've done two episodes on the new version. All the other episodes were from the older build from 2021. Okay, so we are about to fight the Battle of Suldasar, the capital of the Sandalari Trolls in the mod. So the Sandalari Trolls are not a faction in this version of the mod. They are a minor faction, so they are the rebels. So the, the rebels are called minor factions in this mod. And consist of different creatures in different regions on the map. There are a lot of rebel regions in Kalimdor, on the Ayers, and Northrend and in the Eastern Kingdoms. And uh, <coughs> I believe that most of them are in Kalimdor and then in Northrend and then on the Ayers. We do not have a lot of rebels in Eastern Kingdoms, but there are a few Ogre areas and Gnoll areas here. Maybe bandit areas too, around Lordaeron. But anyway, we are about to fight the battle against the Sandalari Trolls. They had a full stack of Sandalari troops, three different units. They have two different variations of infantry. One of them has a shield and a mace, I believe. The other one has a um, giant sword, I believe. Then they have mages too. They have these swordsmen, and then they have mages, <coughs> but they have quite a few of the mages, so it's not an easy battle. We have waited on them to sally out, which they are doing right now. Waited for many turns, they are as weak as they can be. We can see the strengths of the army here. The darker blue color is the strength of the Naga armies, and uh, the rest, the light color, is empty space on the banner. When, when the entire banner is filled, with a dark color we have a full sized army. <laughs> so you can see that we have a few armies that are fully sized and then we have a few armies that are not. You can see that the enemy army Sandalari Minor Faction they used to have a fully sized army here. They have 20 troops. But we have waited on them for many turns. They have the largest type of settlement, the citadel. Uh, so in this mod I believe that you can have either Hotel and Baileys castles, wooden castles, large castles and citadels, or you can have villages, towns, large towns, cities, large cities and huge cities, and huge city and uh, citadel are the highest levels of settlements you can have, <coughs> and there are some differences in recruitment and such based on what you choose. Uh, this is a citadel, so it's the castle type. We have waited on it for many turns for the enemy to sell out, which they are doing now, so they have been reduced in number, because when we are besieging a settlement and <coughs> wait on them, for each turn they will uh, get their numbers reduced, because they are um, running out of food and supplies and such, so <coughs> you can say they are starving, so many of their troops have starved, while they still have 20 units in the army, the numbers have been depleted so you have like 48 of these guys etc etc instead of full stacks with 39 here so you can see that they have lost a lot of troops due to starvation due to the long siege okay a balance of power 15 2 in our favor enormous strength ratio uh, we see that we have armies here with Lord Illidan Storm Rage and a bunch of he other heroes like Vidya Lord Kalidresh, Lord Sinslayer, and General Skishris. I believe uh, these four at least are custom characters. Well, this one, General Skishris, is, I believe, a, an adopted general that we got later. Then we have some other armies. We have a Kalidresh Tidrat, another adopted general, I believe, 344 Naga. We have uh, Warlord Sristis. And that's a custom one. He has an entire army of 2,291 Naga. Here we have Lady Vash, the commander of the Naga forces. She has 94 men, mostly important heroes. Naga, uh, yeah, we have Out of the Blood Curse, another custom general. We do not want any of the troops to be in AI under AI control. So I played this battle once before without recording. And. Uh, I won the battle but they had huge losses, I let some of the armies be AI controlled and they got massacred by the mages. So we will control all the armies ourselves, this means that some troops won't enter the 
the battlefield until we have depleted the others. So we'll probably have to deplete the troops of this army before they will send in the others. Fortunately we have five generals bodyguard. Four of them, I believe, are the Medusa Matriarch bodyguard. So they are really good uh, archers. As we will use for sure. And then we also have some troops. We we'll probably have to spend the most of the troops in the army. This kind of sucks, but can't be helped. Well, we could probably out resolve the battle to have very few losses, but if I do that, it would kind of suck. We never get to see the Sandalari trolls. On the other hand, if I fight the battle, we'll only have one army at a time. Meaning we'll probably lose most of these units. And uh, some of the other armies might actually be worse. Could... Uh, they are selling us, we can't withdraw. We do not want to withdraw, then we will lose the battle. I believe it's the AI turn right now. You're forced to attack an army of the minor factions and Larry Trolls. Well, we, we might be able to do this. We will see here. Turns until surrender one. We could let them attack. Move out of the settlement, but I believe this custom settlement doesn't work well. So while they will sally out, they will probably not leave the settlement will kind of bug out and still stand, uh, they will still stay in the settlement, I believe I played it when they sallied out previously and they didn't move out all the way to the army candidate for adoption, sure we can have a candidate um, ok, end of turn report, the scourge or the undead are the militarily strongest faction in the game, burning legion the demons, they have the best financial situation. Uh, the night elves, also known as the Kaldore in their language, they have the best production. And the undead also has the largest population and is the overall strongest faction. Okay. They're the main enemy of the Naga. They are allied to the Sindori uh, or Blood Elves. They are also allied to the AI controlled Burning Legion. They are at war with many factions, including the Alliance of Lorder on the, in the Eastern Kingdoms, Terramor in Kalimdor, Night Elves in Kalimdor, Scourge or Undead in Northrend, Forsaken in, in the Eastern Kingdoms, which is also an Undead faction. But unlike the Scourge, they are not controlled by the Witch King and are kind of independent from the Witch King and are an enemy of the Witch King. So they are an Undead faction with free will that are. Of uh, an enemy of the other undead faction. Okay, and then we have the Rikul. Rikul. I think it's Rikul. Uh, they are the giants of Northrend. The giant Norsemen. Giant Vikings. Then we have the Ankirai faction. The insect faction in Kalimdor. The Egyptian in insect faction. And then we have the Amani forest trolls. In the Eastern Kingdoms. And the minor factions, also known as the rebels. We are about to fight this battle. Let's see, we have uh, Lady Vash with two custom heroes, generals. We have uh, Kalitres with an army. Some good troops there, including Naga Sea Snakes, Hydras, Dragon Turtles. Some really good troops. We also have an elite Naga Sirens unit here. They didn't have a large force. Right of Shara. Royal Guard, the Sea Witches, and Naga Oracles. We had really good troops there, but very few. And uh, we have a huge army under Ilden, as we saw. We also have this army, that of the Blood Cursed. He has a similar army to Ilden, but without the uh, bodyguards. Then we have another lodge. Force here. So two, we have three large armies. I would prefer if we spent. Um, let's 
let's see, I still think we will use Illidan's army because then we get the bodyguards here. We can use to kill Sandalari more easily. We'll do that. We won't let AI control anyone. We won't out resolve the battle. We would win easily and we would have very few losses, but it would be boring. We'll fight the battle on the battle map. <clears throat> so, and the troll, troll citadel, largest uh, type of castle in the Hanian settlement. <clears throat> Start deployment. As it's the uncursed uh, settlement, it's not really in use by Heru to war outside of Heru Historia. Yeah, it fit the style of the trolls. This one looks like the Gurubashi. Castle, I believe, kind of bluish colors. Unlike the cursed one, it doesn't have like uh, dark uh, ground and such. <coughs> so they can place troops here to move in into this door entrance and also move in these areas I believe at least the cursed one could move troops from the wall here in, in there and then out here somewhere this one looks different it's not the cursed one maybe it's it won't work here I don't know. can certainly move in troops here and then move them out here I believe here we have the other building, but it's kind of glitched. So I don't know. Maybe they can move here. And they can move here too. And they come out here and then move into this door. They move up in there and then there and then out here. This one is kind of glitched. Okay. So in this settlement we do not need an actual ram. I believe there is a gate in the cursed version of the settlement, but not in this one. Could be wrong. No, there is a gate here. We need a gate to destroy. We need to use a ram against the gate. Okay. But we do not need ladders. We'll drop them. Do not need siege towers, they will be dropped too. And the heroes here, they will be in loose formation, and flaming arrow will be on. We have the flame callers, they are like archers, they will have flaming arrows on, they are more effective that way. Group them, one line. I don't know where they spawn up there, but we'll place them there. Okay, the heroes. There has to be one line. Start with there. We have the infantry. The enemy has a lot of mages. We do not want our troops to be in tight formation. We want them to be in loose formation so they can avoid the enemy troops. And uh, we have some javelin throwers too. Should be placed in one line, single line, and loose formation. Okay, place them there. We have a snapdragon cavalry unit too. It's the only light cavalry of the Naga, the only cavalry that is like normal cavalry. They are like dogs. They're good at hunting down enemies, but they are not very good. And their stats, <coughs> 9 attack, 4 charge bonus, 9 total defense, 1 hit point, special attack, can swim so they can move over rivers on the map. Excellent morale, mid charge without orders, <coughs> can't hide, very good stamina. Okay, so they, they are good at hunting down fleeing troops, should mainly be used for that. They can't really fight other factions, cavalry. Uh, they can fight the Fellhounds of the Burning Legion, they are the same unit 
but with a different model. Uh, but besides that unit, I believe they are not suited to fight other cavalry. They might be able to fight light cavalry, but are not uh, numerous enough. I don't know. Maybe they will be able to fight the light cavalry of the humans and such, but not the heavy. Okay, and uh, we'll place the ram over here. We'll send in the satyrs first. Loose formation. This ram will also be in loose formation. Replaced. Find the other one. We'll place it here. Okay. Have another Javel intro unit here. Place all of them again in one line. Okay, and uh, cavalry will, will probably not need them. This battle, this formation is, is good. And our leader, Gilladan, will be behind. Loose formation, flaming arrows on. We have Gilladan here, Persian leader. Skvina Shara is not the leader of the Naga in this mod. Or in Warcraft 3, it's Gilladan Stormreach, the demon hunter. Alright. Pause the game here and take control of the general. Alright, it worked. I'm controlling Illidan. Storm Rage is huge. He looks good too. Doesn't look bad. Leader of the Naga. Demon Hunter Illidan. Storm Rage. Huge guy, guy and guy. This bodyguard of demon hunters that will transform into their humanoid forms in melee. So the other arm is uh, outside the settlement too, ready to enter with troops when we lose troops. Move out for now. Reinforcements out of the blood cursed. Yeah. Reinforcements Lady Vash. Reinforcements all of Shristes. Okay, then we had the, another one there that I didn't really manage to read about. Okay, so they will join soon. waiting for our troops to be depleted then they will send in some of the troops hopefully they won't send in the heroes here we have some other troops royal guards do some matriarchs and such okay here we have the army I just checked out Seems to be one of the normal armies. Many troops. Here's another one of them. Hopefully we'll get reinforcements from those armies. And I believe not all the armies have showed up either. We had more than three armies outside the walls. I think the <coughs> Satyr Shadow Stalkers basic infantry will attack the ram here. Ah, they are moving their troops. Here are the Sandlari Trolls. They look kinda cool. They will become their own faction in a later version of the mod. But they only have three unique units for them, so they are using uh, some of the best units of the other troll factions too in their roster. If Banter returns, he had problems with the, I believe, Milkshape 3D program he, he his computer had shut down, he had lost everything on it, but he has gotten a new computer and a new Windows operating system, but he couldn't run Milkshake 3D on it. So uh, that's why he can't work on models, but if he manages to fix that issue with Milkshake 3D, then he might do some more models, then maybe the Sandlari Trolls will get an entire army of these trolls. For now they have only the three units they have here, and 
units share with other trolls, they will have some of the best ones. They are like the <coughs> Chaos Undivided faction of Warhammer. We have like every good unit from every troll faction plus their own uniques. They are like the strongest troll faction. And when they been added, they will be the ultimate troll faction. Strongest one. They have the fewest areas. I believe they have like one area to start. Their capital. Okay. We want to attack the gate with the <coughs> Sadder Shadow Stalkers. These units. Stormrage is no longer bugged. He used to be bugged in the 2018 release, I believe, and in some other releases. Actually, I believe he was bugged until the 2021 release in the campaign. Because in custom battle, we can use uh, custom animations for the officers, so he used his own animation and wasn't bugged. Then, in the main campaign, I believe that we used a small general for the Naga before 2021 and that's why he was totally bugged, had his feet below the ground and such. Now we are using the Medusa Matriarchs as the bodyguard unit and the general. This unit of uh, female Naga. And it has the same animation as Illidan, oddly enough. So that's why Illidan also looks so, so good. He used the same skeleton. This is one of the bodyguards of one of the other heroes. Also there are some custom generals like the Rat of Shadow ones. They're slightly in the air because they use different skeletons than the Medusas. They have the same issue as Verisa Windrunner had for the Blood Elves. Her model is not made for the same skeleton as uh, an animation as the, as the general of the faction, the Sindore Swordmasters. There are a few Rat of Shara generals here. They are custom characters. Only a very few of them as generals. We have at least two here. Right, and these are archers. They are magical. They are <coughs> they are magic users. They are casters, but yeah, they are kind of the archers of the Naga. More effective against enemies from the walls, too. And we have a sea witch general, three stars in the air because of the animation skeleton here. least Illa then looks great. And the Medusa Matriarch generals, including Lady Vash. So the two important ones, Lady Vash and Illa then look great. And any generic generals, not the, the smaller ones. I don't think we will actually move in with the general in this battle. There are too many mages. Shit, they have lost some already. Thanks to their mage unit. You can shoot through the walls here, which makes them really dangerous. They have the same or similar dangerous projectile as the keepers of the grow. I think it's slightly different, but it's, it's very dangerous. I think we'll 
try to send in a Medusa Matriarch unit. Maybe not that one. Send one of these. Against the mage. I want to see if they have enough range to kill the enemy. <coughs> That's the main reason why I used this army. It's the first army. I wanted to use the Medusa Matriarchs. Me, but that siege engine is not going to man itself. This is one of the custom generals. Not sure which one. It's a generic red Shara model. It's the general's model. You would be able to control this red Shara if he was the only general in the army. Or if he was the, the one with the best traits. Don't want them to have fire to be alone, Jesus Christ. We want them to just attack their mages. They killed pretty much all our satyrs here, entire unit was obliterated. Yeah, I was worried that would happen. We need to take out their mages. Resolve this battle to be honest, as the Sandlari trolls are really dangerous with the, their mages. And the fact that they can shoot through walls, we can also shoot through walls here, but they have the defensive position. Can fire from here, I think. Very good. I don't like that they are still moving. Fire now, as soon as possible. Four days start to fire. Good. Can fire them from here. Killed a few of their San Larry Great Prophets. <coughs> San Larry Great Prophets. We need to kill them. We had four units of them. If they send out infantry, we'll have to move back. I believe their troops are faster than ours. didn't add the rest because we only had them as rebels in the version where we have this faction maybe it would be a good idea to add the entire army but it all depends on if we have someone to rig the models 
and the band had problems using the Moodle program Milkrypt 3D maybe you will fix it or something would be kinda cool to have an entire army of these guys they look very different from the other trolls send in these guys guardians of the abyss they are like heavy infantry but they are not the best infantry, they are like medium troops. S 17 attack, 8 charge bonus, 15 defense, 2 hit points, and 3 move rivers on the map. Effective against armor. They penetrate enemy armor, that's actually really good. Excellent morale, powerful charge, good seven. They are one of the better troops. The Naga army. One of the better ordinary troops. We want them to fight their infantry. We also want our <coughs> Medusa Matriarch bodyguard to move back in and shoot at their mage if they start to fire. It's just that we want this unit in front of the mage so that their infantry won't attack the Matriarchs. Kill them in melee. They can fight in melee too, but not suited for that type of fight. They have large swords, but it still will probably Killed we have 125 in a full sized unit of Guardians of the Abyss. The problem with this castle type is that the, the walls do not protect. You see, they have more infantry here. Can move back our unit. We have uh, more troops here. But I'm only interested in where they have their mages. They have a few there too behind the infantry. Good, reach the enemy. Now fighting. These trolls are really different from other trolls. Look more badass and upright. Would be cool with an entire army of these. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forcing Or they will end up with just these three <laughs> sandalari trolls, and then they will use some of the best of the other trolls uh, faction undivided type of roster shots use the guy and bows so they are really good taking out mages they have a long range too check their mage they have 16 melee attack and 20 charge bow 28 charge uh, no sorry 28 missile attack 5 charge bonus and 26 the total defense they are really good 3 hit points Penetrate armor, as they are effective against armor. Long range missiles, excellent morale. Then we look at our bodyguard. Medusa Matriarch's bodyguard. <coughs> they have 11 melee attack. It's not that good in melee. Compare with this unit, they have 16 melee, so it's way better in melee. The <coughs> prophets, they have, no, the Medusa Matriarchs, they have 9 missile attack. Way worse than the 
some large rolls, but we have a much yes, uh, we have a very p powerful projectile, so it doesn't matter that we only have nine lethal attack. It's really good because of the ballista shots. Okay, charge bonus six, total defense sixteen, five hit points, but we have way better hit points. And then abilities to glance, long, uh, eagle inspires nearby troops, effective against armor, long range missiles, excellent morale, can use flaming arrows, can't hide, very good stamina. Okay. The battle is in our Almost killed favor. all of those. We remain true and wholehearted. One of them is Victory moving on the ground. Like an officer. Didn't know that they had like guy that uh, walked on the ground. An officer type of guy. I don't want the unit to continue to fire on that guy. Okay, some Larry Great Profits. Maybe it's the general. Then we want them to fire on this unit. It's more numerous. Jesus Christ! We'll have to retreat. Somehow they managed to pass my troops. That happened. Must have moved troops here. Moved out infantry troops and attacked from this side. All moved from this side. Yeah, they must have come from a different direction. He'll attack with the infantry again. More infantry troops will be sent in. Against those guys. Kill a bunch of our bodyguards. Still have our unit here fighting their unit of Sandlari Thunder guards. So for some reason they managed to send a different unit here. Underestimated them. We only have 39 remaining now. Which is bad. <coughs> uh, they will not be as effective then when we use the ranged power, fire, firepower. Some of our troops were stuck here. Yeah, they can fight in the lead. Yeah. At least the general seems to be escaping. He almost didn't made it. make it. I mean, he, he was still inside here. Yeah. Need more to fight their infantry. I'm just worried that their mages will come and kill them from afar. Okay, so we still have this unit. It should turn around and kill these guys. from this side too. There were four more of them there. It's more important to kill these guys. They had 23. They sent another unit. Either it came 
from this area, move down here, or they moved around, I think they moved this way, move this way, and attack from behind. Should have uh, had another troop ready there. Yeah, I think we'll place this unit there. Over there, and position ourselves. Standard trolls, they're really tough, even when they do not have their maximum numbers. They're elite. Packing won't be as elite because they won't have only these three troops, they will have a lot of the other troll troops as well. If they get new units, then yeah, they could get their entire army, but they are also limited by 500 units in the game, so we would need to remove the, uh, some other units to, to get the army into the game. For example, every strat model ship would need to be removed except one for each faction. Some of them will be shared between factions too. But the, yeah, most of the ships will be removed. That opens up slots uh, for the battles. Uh, so strat model ships, strat map ships, they take up slots. Could otherwise be used by battle models. Then we have a few siege engines for the dwarves we could remove maybe the elves and then some human clones battle models could be removed too but I believe the ships would be first and then the siege engines as the dwarves are too many anyway and the elves do not really need siege as their siege is against enemies on the battlefield not against uh, gates and walls anyway and they are warhammer uh, siege too They could be removed, but the ships on the strat map are more important to remove. Okay. So, full unit of Medusa Matrix bodyguards are 44. We have 34 here, so we lost 10. Okay. We we'll still send in the same unit. Try to attack. Yes, where they are, wherever they are. And more here. Let's attack it. Maybe this one is closer, we'll attack it then. Can't move too close with the infantry because then the mage can fire through the walls here and kill our infantry. We want to send them port enough so they can protect the matriarchs from these guys. And Larry Thunder Guards, 13 attack, 2 charge bonus, and 8 total defense, really good defense. 2 hit points, can make shield wall, combat bonus, woods or snow. Excellent morale, mission for the daughters, good stamina. Really cool, yeah. These guys, 19 attack, they are better in attack, still 2 charge bonus, 17 total defense, waivers defense, 1 hit point, combat bonus and boost of snow, excellent morale, mission fitted orders, good stamina, okay. These are better in attack and others in defense. Sending in this guy again, his bodyguard. Guardians of the Abyss on both sides prevent their infantry from surprising us and attacking from the back of the unit. They did by moving around that building. Can move these guys forward, handle their infantry. about 
or Medusa Matriarchs. Here are they. They're here. They start to fire. Good. They have a very long range. They reach the enemy from here, from there. <coughs> Only the mages need to be taken care of. Then we can send in all the infantry. Yeah, they look really, really the cool, these trolls. But our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Easily had enough models to make an entire army. We would need to make room for them. And Bant would need to be able to use the tool that he used to make the, to rig the models for the game. Unwise to praise the day before okay. something. They're still fighting here, so only four or five units still managed to fight that well. Victory. They are really strong, those guys. They're charging with another unit of San Larry Thunder Guards. These, these are the best that Rolls have to offer. You can still play as these guys in this version of the game. If you conquer Sildasar, you can recruit them only from the capital. When you play as the faction, you will have them from all the areas instead, taken by the Sandalari, of course. Would also have a more varied roster in terms of other trolls, as they have all the other trolls available to some degree. We have about nine Thunder Guards here. We kill them, we to change our target. Kill these guys instead. I killed two units. Out of four. We have a smaller one there with eight. Here they, uh, they have eight in both of these. It's good that we can fire through the walls. Same time, it's bad that the enemy can do it too. Need to readjust their positions and fire again. The day before sunset, but our men are winning Think the battle. We are losing here. I need to send another unit of guardians of the abyss there. Good that they sent in too. We don't want our matriarchs to fight there. Put them back. Thunder Guards, the Guardians of the Abyss, their tridents. Quality advantage, so we need to send another unit there. They will defeat the first unit, it was already battered from fighting the previous unit. We have to keep track of how many guardians we have left, so we, so we need to uh, know when we should send in more of them.
battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory is in ours. That too. Might be able to win. <clears throat> I don't need that ram. Send in the unit of um, Myrmidons there. Light infantry. No, no, they are heavy infantry. 14 attack, 5 charge bonus, 13 total defense. Com can be compared with the Guardians of the Abyss, 17 attack, 8 charge bonus, 15 defense. They are, ver uh, I mean, the Myrmidons are worse. They have 1 hit point. These have 2 hit points. Boat can swim. These are not effective against armor, they can't penetrate enemy armor. Excellent morale, powerful charge, good stamina. Excellent morale, good stamina. Frighten nearby enemies. These guys frighten nearby enemies. <laughs> okay. But I will send in the Myrmidons against these troops too. We spend the worst troops first, the worst infantry. Actually, I changed my mind because that unit is a good uh, garrison unit. We'll stop them from moving in. We'll send another unit of Guardians of the Abyss later. We have 17 left in one unit. 19 left in the other. They have 28 remaining. The Thunder Guards. They might be able to win here. I think it would be a good idea to send another unit there. The Guardians. Laritors are really elite. It's a very OP army when they only had elite units here. That's why we needed to siege them for, for a long time. Stall them out so they were at their weakest. So they still can uh, pack a punch even at their weakest. as few losses as possible with the Naga. They gathered all their troops in, the, in, the, in one location. Except the Murloc army that we sent to the Eastern Kingdoms to aid the Blood Elves. Of which we have only a remnant still alive. We want to use Sildasar as the new capital. The Naga. It's the, the latest type of settlement. But I don't know if we can get the guy and the uh, Naga units from there. Since it's not a Naga starting area, we might not be able to get the best units from there if they are only available from the Naga starting areas. We should be able to get everything else. But the Naga have like five different guidance, so if we can't get the guidance, then my plan has failed. Then we need to take back Eldaret and uh, in, in, in the Eastern Kingdoms and area in Northern, one of them. Either we take Eldaret or we take the area in Northern, we'll see. We might still hold the area in Northern, I don't know. I know for sure that we, we need one area that can get the Giants and such. And we want all the armies in one location. To send them either to northern or to the eastern kingdoms. I think the night elves in the east in, in Kalimdor would be an idea. I meant Kalimdor or northern, not the eastern kingdoms or northern. 
So we send the uh, old armies to Kalimdor to fight the Night Elves and protect Eldaret, or we'll send them to Northrend to fight the Scourge. In the story they fought the Scourge, we might send them to Northrend. And we can send Blood Elves to it too. Have them fight together, but of course the Blood Elves still need to protect their areas in Eastern Kingdoms too. The main areas. They can't send everything there. So the night elves are like the ancient enemy, the Naga. But they are not the ones they fought in Frozen Throne. The game. We won. Good job, soldiers. Okay, so we, we, we will probably send the troops to Northrend to fight the Scourge. Oh, we moved that unit to oh, it now. That's why they uh, showed up so fast. If that's the case, we will move this unit over here again. Didn't know which unit I had picked. Move them back there. Mages. Cost the game. I don't know where the mage is. I certainly don't want them to kill my troops. They are shooting at them now. Let's fire back at the mage there. Hey, there is a mage shooting. This guy should run. Yeah, I think we lost a few to the mage here. Yeah, you can see the beams of their mages there. Try again to attack with the Medusa matriarchs. <coughs> They are not doing anything. They are not out of ammo. Try again. Only very few remaining here. One. 15 Guardians of the Abyss and one Guardians of the Abyss. in two units, very few are still alive. Okay, it's bad news. Let's send in another unit here. Actually, we can send this unit here. And this unit here. Fire back at the mage, what are you doing? Also hit us from here. And we really don't want to move the infantry there. Stop moving. Let's move back here. to win I think. Okay, uh, let's retreat. Attack with these guys. Okay. 
general is still alive. As long as he lives, we can restore the unit. That's good. No. We want the Guardians of the Abyss to fight those infantry units, but we don't want them to be shot at. So we need them to be far away from the, from the actual mage. Maybe they will shoot at them if they fight them there. Slayer. Send forth the infantry against them. We lost one general. The battle one of the custom generals. It sucked. That can happen. We did a mistake. Ordering the general to move back. He should have just left. Our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Many enemies to have. After nine, I think they will win. Our troops are about the same in numbers. Have Aver stats. Need to send in this unit too. And move another unit here. It's replacement. It will start in a win otherwise. As long as their mages do not fire on us, we can easily fight their infantry. Their numbers. Yeah, 
they will lose due to having too few n in numbers. They are not numerous enough to win. They killed quite a few of their guardians. two remaining. Nice. Kill one of them. Good job. One remaining. This unit. Some live warriors. They died. Perfect. A new unit here. Guard is flank. Guys could be moved back a little bit. Jesus Christ! Retreat. The mage is moved out. We'll send another general. Kill their mage. Yeah, they killed a lot of our troops there. The mage. With 10 remaining of that unit. Kill a lot of troops there. Kill most of the ones that have won the battle. But the mage is really, really OP. Just like the druids of the night elves. Need to take out them. Take out the mages before we can send in more infantry. Here we have another uh, Rat Fara general. This time a red one. Try not to lose the generals. They are the only ones suited to fight the mage unit. Kill these guys now. I don't want you to fire at will. 
is this? Where the wheel was on, automatically at the start of the battle. Needed to stop that. Oh, they have another unit here. We'll kill that unit. It's probably the one that is firing. Jesus Christ. Fire. Killed one of them. They managed to fire first, unfortunately. We already lost a few. We have 32 remaining. We have lost like 12. That, that mage. Did a mistake not disabling that fucking pirate wheel. Do that to the others. Seven remaining, we've lost a few. They've lost only very few. Two. They had like two units here. Let's see. They only did two. I think I only killed two of this unit. The others are the old units that we killed at the beginning of the battle. Now three units. Certainly they won this duel. Don't like that very much. Send in another unit. We do some matriarchs. This unit is almost spent. We'll retreat with that unit so they won't kill the general. Then we can restore the unit. It's very valuable. We don't want this infantry unit to move there. Stop moving. They will move back out. Okay, another one of these. lost two units pretty much, but we didn't lose the general, at least we managed to escape with him. I think he's over there, yeah, you see the general there. Similar type of general, bodyguard. Hopefully these guys will fire first for the mage. We'll see. Or lose formation already. Some units here too. Five of them. Here they have also five and three. Six actually. We will kill them. Good. We got five of them. Awesome. Another salvo will kill them off. We got the first shot this time. Very good. 
they managed to shoot us first the last time. That's why it went so badly. Would we kill them finally? We'll kill these guys too. Fire again, soldiers. We need to check so they do not send out more infantry. They still have infantry. I think this is the final mage unit. If we kill those guys that I clicked on, then they're out of mages and we can send in the infantry. We have at least three or five mages still alive. Fire. Yeah, wait. Again, I killed another one. The other one survived with three remaining. Another one died, two remaining. Right, when we kill the mages, we'll just send back all the generals. Kill another one. We'll send in the infantry. We'll spend the guardians of the abyss first. We've also been reinforced by some of the allied troops. Yeah, these trolls look really cool. Would be cool with an entire army of these trolls. Anyway, Bant likes tools. He would probably do it if he can fix the, the, the tool. The mod could also use new heroes. There is no limit to the number of heroes you can use, to the number of custom models for heroes. But they are celebrating. Okay, we will move out the general. Job. We will restore the other one. We lost one hero to it fell in battle, but that's fine. Now it's time to send in infantry. Start with sending in the remnant troops that we have here. Ten guardians of the abyss. Gate is still open. Just charge. 10. We'll start with this unit too. We'll send another unit in as well. Spend the Guardians. We'll also send in the Medusa Sirens and the uh, Myrmidons. Spend the Myrmidons too. Could have been used as the like militia, but uh, we, we want to spend them. Soldiers have proved their worth today. 
The enemy's walls belong to us now. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Yeah, Guardians of the Abyss are a bit taller than the trolls. You can see the trolls look kinda small in comparison. It's also, also due to the hill. We have the upper ground here. needed to remove the mages or casters and then to send in the infantry. They would have been massive otherwise. Like they were when I had them under AI control. I still won the battle but I had like huge losses. They were totally unnecessary. <coughs> This battle ended up quite long. I think we will end the episode after we've done the battle and our men no longer command the castle. And fi finish some stuff on the map too. I think the next episode will be the Blood Elves. We don't want to do the Blood Elves in the same episode. We might do some map stuff. Uh, sorry, we, we might do some map stuff with the blood elves and end the start of battle. Sent in more troops now, they had a lot of infantry still remaining, including the elite infantry. See if they will defeat the guardians. They have the quality advantage. The numbers are even right now, I think. We are blessed. The enemy general is dead! We have sent the idiot to Oh, the out. general died. Rasta Khan of Sunlari tribe. Building captured. The Myrmidons are also coming. The reinforcements. stats, 15 attack, 7 charge bonus, 15 total defense, hit points 1, eagle inspires nearby troops, can swim, or rivers on the map, come upon this in woods or snow, fight an nearby enemy, excellent morale, good stamina. Compare that with the Myrmidons, they have 14 attack, 5 charge bonus, 13 defense, and uh, 1 hit point. So they are clearly better than the Myrmidons. Better abilities too. Um, 
and uh, compared to the Guardians of the Abyss, we have one verse hit points, two verse attack, and they have uh, one verse charge bonus. They have better abilities to glance. Okay. I would still say that they are worse than the Guardians of the Abyss. Maybe they have uh, abilities to uh, uh, inspire the tro uh, nearby troops to fight and so, but I still think the Guardians are the better unit. They were far away. Is the battle going against the trolls here? We have lost 14% and they lost 56% I believe. No, 50%. We lost half the army. I think we will clearly lose this fight. Despite the uh, Myrmidons pouring in through the gate. And to send even more reinforcements here. Yeah, we could bombard them too. There we have the Naga Sirens, I believe. Okay. Maybe not. They are there, I see them there. Uh, so they are about. They are at the same place as the sea callers. Unlike real mages, they have very weaker projectiles. How's the game? Fucking shit, I clicked on them to move. Uh, let's fire. Okay, uh, so the Nagasi Cooler, they have 8 melee attack, 7 missile attack, 9 total defense. So they like a medium unit, but they are a caster. Used to sub like an archer, but. Magic missiles, they are the weakest caster in the game. Uh, because we move a reverse effect against armor, they still penetrate armor. 
combat bonus in woods, long range missiles, excellent morale. Can use flaming missiles. Yeah. They are firing now. They either have this blue beam or a green beam. I believe it's the same projectile, just with a different color in each battle. Green one fit the Naga better. And the blue one fit the Nightingale better, but it's random each battle. Now they are firing. Yeah, yeah they are not the best casters. They are really weak projectile. are winning the infantry battle. All the Myrmidons seem to have entered now. She's good. They spread out because of the Harut of War civilian animation that I used for the militia of most of the factions. I didn't use them for some of them because uh, they didn't fit the, the units ended up glitched. I tried using them with the Goblin Rabble for example and it, uh, they, they ended up looking good. And the seven of the Naga Sirens will soon enter too. Yeah. Jesus, we killed our own troops past the game. Okay. We'll not be allowed to fire it well anymore. Should fire only on the unit that is the furthest away. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. I guess I should join the battle. Seems the archers are not that good at hitting the troops. Might hit the wrong units. Have bad accuracy. Right, and I guess I don't see joined. I don't want the uh, Naga Sirens to fire at all. They seem to be hitting our troops and such. We will stop them from firing. Send in the, the other units instead. The Mag Ambushers, the Javelin Throwers, they will do a better job hitting the enemy, the Javelins. And also send in some infantry. The Naga Sea Snakes. Here, Dras will be sent in. They are far away. It will take a long time to get here. The battle Even is if they run. Favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. And the trolls are really powerful. Their units. Here and between all the bodies, and 
troops. Here we can see some of the Nagat Sirens. They on the front line. Same with some of the Myrmidons, but they are easy prey, they are really bad. Troops like the worst the infantry of the Naga if you don't ca counter militia, the Murlocs. Siren there. Only half the enemy force remains. Troops, Hydras, the troll factions also have Hydras, not all of them, but the Gerbashi trolls certainly have Hydras, and the Faraki trolls certainly have Hydras. Don't know if the others have that. The Gerbashi and the Faraki certainly have them. Faraki and the Hydras are a different color. Same with uh, Gurbashi. Don't know about Drakari or Amani, they might not have them. The smaller trolls certainly do. Ah, our javelin throwers. Now throwing their javelins too. Tridents. They are throwing tridents at the enemy. Naga ambushers. Or whatever that weapon is. Giant units do not only just require the, the latest settlement type, they also require, uh, I believe, the Naga starting areas. So, if you're unlucky, you won't get the uh, five or so Giant units from this settlement like I had planned. If that's the case, we'll get everything else from this area, but not the Giants. So we still need to either recapture Eldaret or protect the northern area. We want the best units. The northern area isn't as highly uh, evolved. Well, in Kalimdor, I didn't want to fight the night elves. So it's too difficult to keep on to too many areas at once. The Avalian throwers are better used than the sea callers here. They are less likely to hit our own troops. Sea snakes over there. The Hydras, where the fuck are they? Here. Actually, you can stay here. Don't want to send in the Hydras yet. Look at their stats 25 attack, shot wound is 10. With 20 Hydras in a full sized unit, they are not that many. They are really, really good attack and shot bonus. 23 defense. Hit points 5, really good hit points. Bonus fighting cavalry, so they are good against cavalry. The enemy, the Naga, very 
little cavalry. They have like the light snapdragon cavalry, and then they have some giants that are good against giants and such. But they hardly have any normal uh, heavy cavalry. They have these guys to fight the cavalry and some other monsters. Uh, they can swim over rivers on the map, frighten nearby enemy. Excellent morale, very powerful charge, very good stamina. Yeah. Don't want to send them in just yet. We want all our infantry troops to die first. Another uh, general has uh, entered. Don't want to use them. Six Myrmidons remaining. Fifty-three Naga Sirens. Very few Guardians of the Abyss. We'll spend these guys first against their troops. Continue to fire our trident at them. They get all generals, that's why they do not have any variations in the unit. Put our normal infantry to shame here. Some of the elites too. Three sirens remaining. Abyss to the two sides. Might break the Myrmidons. Okay. I don't know why the camera moves like that. They die. I want to select these guys and stop. Only 
only 18 remaining now, these guys. Let's move over there so we can more easily see them. Enemies do still have a uh, kill 98% of the enemy, they kill 20% for total forces. Let's charge them from behind. The Naga Sirens now. Our men have taken Good. control of the castle. No idea why it switches like that. defeated them. They didn't have many left. Here we have a guy still alive. Dueling the Naga Sirens. Died. This is a clear nice. that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Good up soldiers. Okay, so they managed to win at the end. Kill 100% of the enemy, they killed 14% of our troops, we restored some. We had lost 20%, we restored 6% after the battle. So Lord Illidan Stormrage had in total 2300 troops. It was backed up by 3 armies or 4. We didn't use most of them, we had to use some units from the second army. Okay, men lost 994, we have 306 remaining, we lost about half the army. <laughs> oh, almost half, we lost about, about 1000 men. Enemies killed 693 of the enemy, they are taken captive. Uh, so, Ras Rastakhan of Sandalari tribe has 706 Sandalari trolls. They were very few because they had been starved out for many turns and they lost all of them in the battle. We killed 1096 of our troops. Here are the detailed statistics. Battle statistics. Okay. Didn't need to use this, the Hydras. I wanted to save them. I didn't want to sp spend them if I didn't have to. I wanted to spend the infantry first, the Myrmidons and the Guardians of the Abyss, even the Naga Sirens. The Myrmidons killed only 15 of the enemy, they were pretty bad. All the guards, they killed quite a few, they killed, no they did kill very few, but they killed the mages, so they were very important. Ambushers killed 20 and 20. Yeah. The audience of the Abyss killed a lot of troops. They were the most effective in terms of how many they killed. Naga Sirens, they killed... Uh, about 27, I think. Yeah. Alright. Didn't release this later. Okay, we'll pause the record. Alright, we won the battle of Suldasar, the capital of the Sanlari Trolls, Poland, the new base of operations. 
two areas. I believe we still hold area in Northrend. Okay, we have no buildings. We will march the troops. We lost most of this army. We lost one general. Noble death, Lord Sinslayer. Yeah, he died. It was a shame. I fucked up by moving him back. I should have just moved him out and placed him with another one. Resistance is futile. Still the Tsar. And we have my rats, Lord Ill and Storm Rage. Yeah. Okay, so we are inside of Suldasar. Just the maximum level of a settlement. Can't build or recruit anything in the first turn. We can't recruit anything because we need buildings. We can't build anything during the first turn. So we need to wait one turn. You can see here we can get snapdragons and agassiviches from the bestiary of the shores. So snapdragons are the light cavalry and Nagasi snakes. They are infantry but they are actually alright against cavalry. We also have the Merlot camp, the militia infantry units. We'll get it because uh, when we upgrade it we'll get better infantry. It's the worst type of infantry building but we need it to get the other later ones. We have the Hunter's Lodge, we'll get the Marlock Swamp Runners and Naga Ambushers to build, build that one too. Can't build anything this time. We have a fleet here. Different creatures including great sharks, sea serpents, giant dragon turtles, krakens. Uh, yeah. Well, right. We'll, when we remove them, the ships will probably just keep the kraken and remove the rest. We have one, two, three units here. We, we would get by removing these three ships. We'll keep the kraken, of course, the best one. Uh, for the other factions, there are probably three we can remove out of four. I believe all the factions have four different ships, but two might be shared uh, by some factions. But I think we would remove uh, everything but the best ship for each faction. Uh, maybe not. If, if something is shared, it might be better to keep it and share it between factions. Or we'll keep the best ship and let more than one faction have it. But uh, with the Naga we would remove uh, the, the turtles, the sea serpents and the sharks and we will keep the kraken. So you will get three units just by removing these ships. Alright, you can get quite a few units by removing all the ships but one for each faction. Yes, and make sure they share as much as possible in terms of ships. Of course no one shares the Naga ships with yes. the Naga but they are unique for this faction, but with the humans for example, I believe the human factions share them, but also that maybe some other factions share ships like the goblins and the horde and the dark horde and the trolls I believe use the same ships as the horde too, or the dark horde, so so yeah, we could uh, try and streamline the ships so, so as few as possible are used by the game to open up new unit slots Orders. Move in Lady Vash and the other generals there. Yes. Didn't even have to use these yes. troops. Perfect. So we have a citadel. Then worried that we won't be able to get the guidance from there. We lost Eldarit already. We still have the agents here. Spy. Taken by the horde. I believe it revolted and then got taken by the horde. But it had a lot of good buildings. They have destroyed most of them anyway. We have a merchant here too, gaining some resources. We have the sea witch merchant and the satyr spy. This used to be the capital of Naga. And we have this area, we are under siege, I mean, blockaded. The port is located by the Night Elves. Shredder ships with the Dark Elves of uh, Warhammer fit the Night Elves. I believe the Night Elves were inspired by the Dark Elves. Because they were originally supposed to be the Dark Elves. Okay, and then Ripless Strand. It's a 
Either sit as it's not the maximum settlement. It's still pretty good. I have destroyed a lot of buildings too. Because I abandoned this area thinking I would have my base here. Now I remember I need actual nag areas for the giants. So we'll probably send troops here and retake this area and upgrade it and have that as our base in Northrend. Because the war will most likely be fought in Northrend. We'll help the Blood Elves here. We had given this area to Blood Elves, but they had no garrison there, so. Revolted. To the Murlocs. Alright. These troops could move. Don't need all the troops here. Army on top of this fleet. Yes, Separating the fleet. Yes. Yes, my lord. Kay. Yes. Your orders? Breaking away. Yes, my lord. Yes. Separating the fleet. Yes, my lord. As far as I can see, we have one army on the Kraken here. Your orders? Yes. We have four fleets. Yes. I will send most of the fleet away. Here we have yes. troops too. We'll pick up this force. But I think we will um, help the blood elves there. Move this fleet. I think we want to send it somewhere. Maybe we want to aid the blood elves. Okay, we'll pause the recording here. I need to go and do some personal business here. Alright, so we had kind of given away a lot of areas. <laughs> Alright. Sun got lowered too. So we want to move this army. I had planned to take Undermine too from the goblins, I remember that now. Large city. Get two good areas here. Didn't get a lot of money from this area, only 353. Objective treasure total. We are minus 128,180. It'll take a while until we get back on plus. We are actually earning money. It will take a while until we have beaten the bankrupt. We get help from the blood elves. Okay. This fleet could also move. So we could use undermine too. I think we'll move there instead. Next time we'll turn around this army. We want that area too. Entire army here. Here. Okay. For this force. Move in the Niagara Oil Guard. The Sea Witches and the Oracles. Move out the Myrmidons. Move in the Sea Serpents. We have the Guardians of the Abyss, move in the Hydra. And uh, we have the Satyrs. Move in the Turtle. Yes. 
out one of these guys. Move in the yes. right shadow. Eat Tomadea now. Yes. Alright. A lot of heroes in this forest town. Yeah. Don't need to move all the heroes. Move in yes. move out the troops, I think. Gas could be moved out. Maybe later. Yes. Yeah. No, I think we will use. Your order, your will. Orders. Yes. Yeah. Orders. Your will. Yes. Your orders. Noble your gas will be used. Your will. Yes, my lord. Cutting orders. Joining the fleet. He's ready to move to. You. Yes, my lord. This is as far as we go. Better army. And the final fleet here. A bunch of heroes here, you know, Skishis. Magentus. Citra, etc. Don't care about them right now, I think. Le yes. Keep the fleet. Maybe we'll send the fleet here, protect Why these armies. This fleet yes, is a little bit at a risk right now if it's attacked. These ones I think will back up each other. Yes. This one is at risk. The, the goblin fleet is pretty strong. We would like their capital here. A large city. Maybe it's a huge city now. We, are, we don't turn 25. We also want to send troops to aid our ally here. This young general and his troops, Maluk troops, have been pretty much defeated. Huh? We are laying siege to the scourge. It might be dangerous. We will not lay siege. Have any money, we'll click and turn. Okay, the Scarlet Crusade moved some troops past the Maluk army. The rebels here sallied out. We weren't backed up by our allies, we'll just move away. They are too strong there. Flee. Same Only thing might happen things, here. Yeah, we'll go away. Oh, they moved out with the that rebel army. Ah, they have an army of Murlocs against one unit of Murlocs. We lost out the resolve. We lost. Kill the Naga force there. The blood elves are low. Okay, could use another general, the blood elves, we are on the blood elven turn, okay, blood elven turn, so, yeah, okay, but this general got the same portrait as Lord Tamar Tyrone, but his name Periel, Perilon, new family member. Your will. Move him down here. Move tomorrow, my lord. A siege engine too. area took previously. Convert this area to a Motten Bailey from a village. It would be worth it. We'll do it. 
at least we get a wooden palisade by doing that, so we can shoot from behind the walls, which will go be good for us. So the blood elves we are holding Corin's Crossing. We speak to our ally, the AI controlled Scarlet Crusade, and uh, give them Corin's Crossing. map information and will give map information they accepted they spawned some highwaymen there and they got the area right wanted to move some troops here to the recess army This is a good army. Can't move the siege engine. Most of the troops can't be moved either. Your Majesty. Orders. Right. Kind of want to move here anyway. Orders. Move out. Move the rest of the troops too. Yes. Can. How do we reach Marisa being runners army? Volunteers could also reach her, so we'll send them there. We need all, we need all the numbers we can get. Teaching the gen will be left, can't move it. It'll be left in the area of Sulmashar that we took from the forest trolls. Eldrin Brightwing can stay there. We'll send out the uh, volunteers. And Haldron will stay in Tranquillion. We don't want to attack the capital of the forest trolls, the money trolls, Salaman. They will spawn a new army if you do. We need to have more than one army when we attack that settlement. I don't know about the Scourge. I don't think we will face a garrison script there. Could be wrong, but I don't think so. We will be backed up by the Murlocs. I would have wanted these additional four units there. We have only room for two in the army. Yes, we will still uh, uh, strong army. We will still attack. We can't uh, breach the gate. That ram. This is a scourge settlement. Okay, I think it's the same type of settlement as probably the one we just fought in, or a similar one. Could be wrong. Large city. I don't think we will need uh, ladders and siege towers, but we'll build them anyway. Okay, so we need them. We have another Naga fleet. The Blood Elven fleet too. About constructions. We're building a warehouse in the Silver Moon. <coughs> Fabrice will go for an altar of the sun. Will increase public order due to happiness to 5%, or will increase it to 5%. Increase religion conversion bonus to 2%. Okay, uh, in Tranquillion. I think we'll go for troops. Need cavalry against the Skull Crusade against the goblin infantry. We don't need, really need infantry, so we'll go for the hawk strider breeder. So we can 
get Silver Guard Lancers, Blood Knights, Hawks Rider Knights, and Arcan Guardians. Which are the, like the Golems. They are good against cavalry. That's where they are in the cavalry building. Elven Garrison Quarters. Get Initiates, Forgemen, Silver Guards, and Spellbreakers. Silver Guards are good against cavalry too. They are pikemen. You can also get the Siege Engine, but it's only good against troops. It's not good against buildings, I believe. Success attack is buildings 120, but I don't believe it could attack buildings. Could be wrong. Maybe that one can attack buildings. We'll see. We'll go for this building, the Elven Garrison Quarters. The Sun Seal in charge. And here we are going for a conversion. Conversion. Solar Sol. Keep it uh, what it is, and the sun will, will keep it too. Okay, silver moon. Okay, we can build some troops, uh, I mean, recruit some troops. And sun, sh sun sail and shoreage. Let's go for the hawks, right? The knights, the other knight types. We need cavalry. They're good against it. pretty much all our enemies here. Torvata. Go for archers and spellbreakers. No, we don't need troops there, I changed my mind. Then the capital. We don't need troops, we need to check the economy here. If, if we recruit too many, we will go bankrupt. So. I guess we'll skip troops this time. We have a diplomat we can move. I think we'll keep the diplomat here for now. Of Rome. In the medieval two they limited it down to one. Turn, uh, one per turn. Okay, we will um, check the areas we got from the Naga. Yes. Unit of volunteers here. I suspect they are not good enough to win against the troops there, but we will still try to take it. Or they will die trying. Orders. Will die yes. trying otherwise. Here I think we could well met, uh, wait on the reinforcements. Yes. My lord Still we build the a siege ram. So we quickly lost all the areas that we got from the Naga here. Due to revolt. Two nine in their favor. We have a dragon turtle. Shit. That's why they will win. At least I'll resolve this. Lost area. Still hold this one. You can recruit archers there. So 
one of the areas that we got from the Naga hasn't revolted. Most of the others did revolt. Potion. Uh, Alright, can't do anything more this turn. They're laying siege. Move the spy. Over here. Move the assassin down here. We have another city. Guardian's wall. Three units inside. Keep the diplomat there. Another spy outside of Suleiman. Where their leader is. All of Sulean. The Mani tribe. We will wait, wait with using this army until we are ready to attack Suleiman. We will also move this army when we are gonna attack that area and this one. Orders. We kind of wanted to reinforce this army. Yes, my lord. This is we will wait with attacking. Me. You want the other units to join in. We will end the turn. We're back on the Naga turn. Okay. We're still minus. Yes. And Take a long time until we are not minus in the economy. We'll land here with an army. Uh, the goblins are here. Their leader, Trey Prince Jaster. <coughs> but I don't know if they have an air anymore. I might be able to kill off the faction by killing him. Both of the armies can attack. Well, this one needs some time. We'll make stronger. We'll send the fleet there. Yes. The entire fleet is there now. The normal armies have disembarked. Do not need the generals. Sildasar, but we have another army here that we also want to use. Could lay siege as we will attack. We won't need any ladders, towers here. I was more relations, of course, or the Nagan Trade Collision. Okay. Uh, so, Ready to trade. can move the spy here. As you the Night Elves are holding an air cram. units I believe Scourge will attack we won't do that. Uh, okay we'll end the turn I guess we might we can't recruit anything or construct anything we are broke. We can't move this army anymore and we are laying siege here. Okay we'll end the turn. <coughs> Somewhere, Marlock rebels sallied out. I guess the Marlock camp we can use that to resolve it. Lost. Same thing will happen here. Rain speaker. We have a lot of Gorlocks mages, so we'll use that to resolve. Get another general. Yes. Writing in Solar Cell. That's weird. I have troops there. Oh, 
almost had no money. Okay, diplomatic information. The following factions are now at war with each other. The Nagas declared war on the trade coalition of the goblins. The following factions have declared that they are allies, Terramor and the Horde. The following factions have declared a truce, the Horde and the Kingdom of Stromgard. Horde and the Casmodan Dwarves. Horde and the Kingdom of Stormwind. And the Horde and the Alliance of Lordaeron, which is the, the humans of Lordaeron. And their elven and dwarven allies. Uh, the following factions have became client kingdoms. Abandoning their independence and sovereignty. Okay, so the Terramor faction has become a vassal of the Horde. They didn't decide on destroying the Terramor in this campaign. But made a vassal out of them. Okay. I believe this area will probably revolve to real annoying. Okay. Rangers, the archers, move back, the volunteers, the Sulmasar, both of them, move out the humans, can be in their own little group, do not need humans here. What else did we have? Volunteers. We could be in this force. Could use an actual siege engine. Okay, we could move out something else. And volunteers. Move in these elite troops. The Risa's army. Good, now they are ready. Now the siege boat can be moved into Sulmashar. Still keep one volunteer unit there in case it's attacked. We have a general too. General could be moved, moved into city. Castle or whatever. This is a large town actually. Check the recruitment and such. We have no money, yeah. Do this cost a lot. Upkeep zero. The, the new generals we adopted have no upkeep. Blood Mages, Bodeguard. I have no idea why they have no upkeep. Of course, the Mage Bodeguard shouldn't be free of charge. That's why players can spam the. Generals, which is not intended. <coughs> I suspect they have been changed some some time. I'm pretty sure that they didn't have free upkeep previously. We'll change that in an update. They shouldn't be free of charge. Should be extremely costly. They should be at least as costly as the normal mages, because it's a mage unit. You shouldn't be able to just spam them. Okay. Here they are actually free of charge. Okay. That means they are free of charge in the current release. Which is OP. Okay, we'll attack the Scourge. Can attack. We are backed up by two armies. I think we'll save the game here. See you in the next episode. The balance of power on the strength ratio 3 2 in our favor. We have a Risa Runner with 1794 Blood Elves, Sindore Elves. She's backed up by a force of 272 Knight, uh, uh, Blood Elves under Captain Cadence. And then we have the Naga Murloc General Krellian, backed uh, with an army of 653 Murlocs. 
and the enemies, the undead scourge, with the general Baron Riven there holding Stratholm with 2275 undead, including these troops, undead surgeons, undead champions. Quite a few of them. Four units of surgeons. Three units of champions. Maybe even four units of champions or five even. Actually they have um, about six units of surgeons and five units of champions. Then they have the goal units. Goals. And they have light cavalry, skeleton raiders. They have a whole beard unit. And that whole beards. They have two units of the Banshees, they are like weaker mages, but they are really good in melee. And we have their, their worst unit, the Zombies. We have two units of Skeleton Raiders. Okay, and then we have the Dismounted Death Knights, one of their best infantry units, probably the best one. And they have uh, Death Knight Bodyguard. At least they do not have the Liches here. Okay, and we will fight this battle in the next episode. See you later. Bye.